Do we embrace the random rare that worked out for our achievement video? I'm deeply tempted to do so. Normally not a start I advocate for on 820, but when it works, it works. Taking damage to remove two could also be very, very potent. Uh, although I don't generally advocate for taking damage at the start of a run, I do see a nice pathway here that we can use to largely mitigate. Get two rest sites. Actually, don't even know, need to go to that stinky shop. That's a pretty bad shop. Instead of going to that shop, maybe do this. And then and potentially... Actually, I like this even more because then there's optional shop. Shoptional. And what a path on the map like this lets you do is... Progress through a couple early events. If money occurs, you can include the shop in the path. If money does not occur, don't worry about it. Go somewhere else for lunch, you know? And I like a very late burning elite, which means we can easily grab our green key in Act 1. Hey, Dog Barker, appreciate those good luck wishes. I think Remove 2 is one of the strongest starts in Slay the Spire. I want to see what Random Rare has for us today. Worked out for the last video. Give me a Meteor Strike to start. Vision. Okay. Remove or upgrade to evoke all of our orbs. Gain an energy and draw a card for each orb removed slash evoked. Pretty good with the starting orb that we have. Actually wondering if I maybe want to go this way. Potentially gives me more optionality this way like that. Yeah, Floor 1 Thunderstrike. Definitely a risk that you take. A dual cast here. There's the chance that it hits that one twice, in which case I defend twice now. Let me kill this one first. I think I regret my choice, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Hologram, beam cell, defrag. Oldie buddy goodie for Silvardo. How much does the defect weigh? One hologram. I actually support going hologram first card here. I think hologram is a huge enabler for so many other defect cards. Hard to go wrong with a beam cell. Hologram would let me upgrade Zap, and then we can use that for Fission Fuel. It's rather intriguing. I'm going to go first pick Hologram. I really think that is a, an enabler. What is the mass of the defect? One Hologram. Didn't quite roll off the tongue the same way. Give me your money. We already talked about how getting money from an event would lead us to take the shop. And lo and behold, that has happened. I think I want to take more events now. Transform a card. Let's turn a strike into... Generally think Defect wants to get rid of strikes over defends. Strikes very quickly become very bad for this character. Into an overclock. Oh my. Draw two, add a burn to the discard pile. Good if you've got something to draw into. Currently, we really don't. So that's a bit awkward. Also, I drew no blocks. That's also a bit awkward. And I think using fission here is detrimental. So I'm just going to play three strikes and take 12. I think that's the only reasonable choice here. Guaranteed three blocks is fine. Dex potion is nice. I think we need orbs here. We've got a fission. 
There's no better orb generation or early game than an upgraded chaos creating two random orbs. It's definitely something we could make use of. Could also take a sweeping beam here, our first real attack card, to let us hit all enemies for some damage. Grab that chaos. And we have one more easy encounter to go through here. The cultist should be nice and simple to fight. Please. Let's go full cast. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Follow the burn! Because I can. Dang it. Number guaranteed to kill with dual cast. 19 health after our first few encounters is definitely a bit of a precarious position. We've had to deal with a little bit of an awkward draw, and we've got a deck that isn't actually useful at early fights is part of the problem here. We're lacking upgrades, and we're also lacking um, kind of a core attack card, something to deal damage with. I guess Sweeping Beam is tolerable here. We'll help against the Slime Boss, and I do like it more with a Flex Potion. Could take this Beam Cell. I'm not as thrilled about currently. Got so many upgrades we really want. The Fission, the Chaos, and if we take it, the Sweeping Beam. Upgrading Zap seems like a distant hope at this point. Maybe if there's a War Paint suddenly, but... Pretty unlikely to actually happen here. Deck has potential, and that's currently all it really has. But we have money, and we're about to get a uh, rest site, shop, rest site, relic as our next four nodes. So that should help out a little bit. I think I'm going to go with a beam to help us with slime boss. We're going to upgrade first. I'm thinking that upgrade might have to be the sweeping beam first. I was hoping for chaos first. Really feels like we have to upgrade our uh, our best damage card, and this one is that. The Sweeping Beam upgrade is pretty good. Three more damage to all enemies. And particularly if we're using a Hologram on the Sweeping Beam, uh, we really want that extra damage. Hoping for a heal or something here. Or something indeed. Hmm. Thunderstrike, huh? Relic-wise, we can buy Omomori to protect us from future curses. Problem is, that offers us nothing currently. Or the Abacus, giving us block whenever we shuffle the draw pile. It's actually pretty decent at the moment. Considering how small the deck is. Dramatic Entrance could be some guaranteed turn one damage. That's okay. Leap is a pretty decent block card. That's okay. Actually, I like Leap a lot, especially with Dex Potion. And card removal seems okay. Might even go leap, remove a defend. Just to make a better block. Could try swapping out a potion, but I, uh, particularly the fear potion is very good if we're worried about a gremlin knob. Hmm. Swapping out the dex potion for a fear potion actually seems like a very good idea. All the more reason not to remove a strike here. Streamline is kind of okay, especially with a hologram in the deck already. Actually, this is the sort of deck that really does like a streamline. I can't afford all three of this. 
Okay, yeah, let's do it. And we should rest here. Oh, and a bank of prep from the chest? Watch these elites get destroyed. First up, the sentries. Not gonna play the overclock. That seems like a losing line. Let's go chaos here, getting me a plasma orb. Interesting. And given that I've got fission, let's get a third orb in play. Heck, the middle one, apparently. Hmm. Not the draw I was looking for. 2011 11. Okay, I can kill one of them with the flex pot, so I will. I was really hoping to do flex potion, beam, hologram, beam, although that wouldn't kill any of them either. Forty-four, so we can kill the front one. Er, wait. No, we can't. I'm bad at math. Yes, I'm very bad at math. Well, that's embarrassing. Come on, lightning orb, save my pride. Thank you. Calculated. You never saw that, Twitch chat. Hurry, McDurr, thanks for 10 months of support. Okay, we got through the first elite with only 11 damage taken. We used one of our two potions, and now we have a Nunchaku, giving us energy for every 10th attack played. We also get offered another hologram, which is spectacular when you've got a streamline in the deck. So I'll be taking that. Go for the Eye is also very nice with the Nunchaku, actually. And I agree, we need to upgrade the streamline, especially if I take the second hologram, which I will. The streamline it becomes now the main damage engine of the deck. We're looking to play it multiple times. Ooh. Ooh. Channel a Dark Orb at the start of combat makes the fission better. And just gives us some more upfront stuff we can do gonna help a lot against slime boss particularly oh geez yikes this is nasty can't kill him I could defend hologram defend, but then next turn is really scary. I think I have to just take 14 here, go streamline and sweeping beam. Actually, let's beam first. See if we draw fission, we did not. Ouch. Uh, next turn I can dual cast hollow dual cast, even though I'm entangled. It's really tempting, but it's too early. Turbo is also really tempting. Don't think any of them are correct. I think we take none of the above. And I'm going to push my luck here and fight this elite. I'm very happy it's a Legavulin. Very, very happy it's a Legavulin. That means we can let the Dark Orb accumulate power. Or I can do some streamlined shenanigans here. But I don't think we need to use the Fear Potion. I'm very happy we have the Leap. I'm going to 
play Chaos. This was Gremlin Nub, then using the Fear Potion on turn one. With that same draw, we would have played Streamline, Vision, Hologram, Streamline, Hologram, Streamline. That's 90 damage. We would have killed Gremlin Nub on turn one. Love the Frost Orb. We want this to be a thing. So close to being able to do something really good here. Hmm. I have to hologram the leap again. A little concerning here. I'm gonna play Chaos over Defend. Good. As soon as we draw a dual cast, we win. Get a little bit of health back, the Emerald Key, and wow. Can only choose one of these three. I believe I am going to try to do the slime boss on 16 hit points here. A bit scary. If we take an Electrodynamics, I think our odds of defeating Slime Boss are highest. Question is then, do I upgrade the Chaos or the Fission at our fire here? That I'm not sure about. Block from Glacier is also nice. King says, I'm taking Electro and upgrading Fission. Don't disagree with that. Particularly me, me, being able to play Fission and have the Dark Orb do something is pretty dang good. Definitely going to take the Electro. <laughs> well, well said, Grill Pack. Grill Pack says, one thing I always notice when watching is how good a piloting can get you through with a rel relatively mediocre deck. The impact of turn to her to turn decisions is such a huge, huge impact. A lot of times in these early fights, uh, just as soon as you start a run of Slay the Spire, you're fighting Jawworm or Cultist. Choosing to play a strike or defend on any given turn can have a significant impact in how many hit points you leave that fight with. And these kinds of decisions apply through every single combat in different contexts in Slay the Spire. I think this is what I'm going to upgrade. <laughs> That's pretty spicy. I don't want to lose the... the orb buyers, though. Maybe I just go Electro, we leave the Fission for later? I think that's probably correct. Just go Electro and Strike this turn. want to dual cast the Dark Orb. Two straws. Dual cast this, get Slime Boss close to half. Like a Plasma Orb. Cool, that lets me uh, streamline Hologram Streamline next turn. Perfect. And then make a new Lightning. And while I could try to preserve the potion here, I really think that messing with Slime Boss is a recipe for disaster. So I'm going to employ the potion as well. Make this the big damage. Just 
one up. Nunchaku here. Nope. GG. We made it through. We get some money back in a potion. And we're offered a multicast, a thunder strike, or another copy of Fission. Second Fission. Interesting. Thunderstrike is, as usual, pretty unwieldy here. Multicast has some potential, letting us evoke our Dark Orb multiple times, or letting us use the energy from Fission. Problem is, Fission, Multicast, you have to recreate an orb in between those two things. So that can be a little challenging. If we take another Fission, we're really committed to getting some more upgrades in this deck. Not sure how we plan to do that. But I do like where it puts us overall. Grab a second one. Oh, and I know what I'm taking here instantly. Our options. Sozu. Gives me energy every turn. Prevents me from gaining any more potions. Which can be a little bit awkward. We have one potion slot filled. It's not bad. Velvet Joker gives me energy every turn. Prevents me from playing more than six cards per turn. That's also pretty limiting, especially if we're looking to cycle this streamline repeatedly. Or lastly but not leastly, Empty Cage, remove two cards from the deck. Thinning this deck out further enables us to draw our combo cards together, Electro and Fission, or Hologram and Streamline. Every card removed improves the consistency here pretty substantially. And so a remove two is going to be really nice, especially if we pair that with going to a shop early in Act Two and removing removing another card there. I think I'll go double strike remove to start. Birds of Bacon says, "Which XCOM will be we will we be playing next week?" I intend to play XCOM Two or The Chosen. So, early shop means fighting this elite. Or if I want upgrades. Oh my. Wow, look at this path. Three, four, five rest sites, plus a shop, plus two elites. For a deck that's way behind on upgrades, that's almost perfect. Master Poe says, have I ever tried Long War? I played a lot of Long War for XCOM Enemy Within, uh, the XCOM 2012. I watched a little bit of Long War 2 and Long War The Chosen, and... Don't feel like those are experiences I am interested in. I think they went a little overboard with the enemy count in uh, Long War 2 in particular. And honestly, I found that uh, Long War, uh, I found that War of the Chosen on the Impossible difficulty was actually already a long and involved enough campaign to be pretty dang interesting. But I have very, very fond memories of Long War the First. So, I love this upgrade path, and I think that's uh, what I'm going to try to specialize in. We get some events, too, which could further further diddly-do. Is there any other path that looks reasonable? We could go double shop by sacrificing one fire, but I doubt we'll have the funds for two removes anyway. Yes, I'll be playing on Impossible. I don't think it's going to be Iron Man, probably Honest Man, with an asterisk on it. Because I don't want to, I don't want the XCOM experience to be grinding the early game, which can be the the Iron Man Impossible experience. But we will play on Impossible, absolutely. Give me the energy. Yes. But how do we win the fight? 
Sir Phobos asks, what is my favorite Slay the Spire like game? Games that are like Slay the Spire, but not. Uh, I think that would be a toss up for me personally between Monster Train, which I find to be personally really replayable, very enjoyable with some jam and tunes. But I'd also nominate Grifflands. That's one that, that doesn't feature on the stream because I don't find it as replayable. But I think Grifflands is an incredibly well done um, kind of story slash deck builder experience that was really fun. Tries to embrace the roguelite aspect, but I, I don't think it it is a good roguelite. It's a good deck builder, but not a good roguelite. Uh, I can actually get more energy by going Zap Chaos Fission. Does that even do anything? Let me look at more cards. Does that actually do anything? No. So I go Streamline, Defend, Defend, Block Potion. And then here I can Hologram, Streamline, Hologram, Streamline, Sweeping Beam. Is that exactly enough? Oh, wait, no, I can't do all that, actually. Because I don't have the energy. Dang. I really need these holograms upgraded. I thought we could do better there. <clears throat> I do like a self-repair. Self-repair can heal us each combat, helping make up for... our lack of resting. Second streamline upgraded is interesting, too. Am I done with Elden Ring? Not, not forever, I'm sure. I finished my first playthrough. About 160 hours, and now I've put it down for some time. I am sure I'll be motivated to return to it again, though. And I'm sure I'm going to like what happens if I transform two cards here. I still have faith that the overclock will eventually be good. Let's lose strike and one more defend. Getting a doom and gloom and a go for the eyes. Okay, here we go. We got an area damage and channel an orb card, and we got... A weak applying, zero cost attack. Really good luck there. And we're offered strikes for bites, but we have no strikes. So this would add five bites to the deck. Don't think that's a very good deal at all. But one more card removal. That is a good deal. I am ready to remove Zap, honestly. Zap is not likely to get an upgrade anytime soon. Upgrade priorities are going to be Chaos, Fission, Hologram, Electrodynamics, or Zap. Hasn't got a home. We'll play this. Electro, dual cast the dark, then fission. Sounds good. Twenty-one. We can either tank eleven or try to kill next turn. With a worse draw. Problem is we might not get the kill, but the good news is we do exactly get the kill. But only exactly. Hey, here we go. I think the thing this deck most wants out of anything is zero cost orb generation. Uh, I recognize the irony of having removed Zap. But chill is incredible here. One frost orb for each enemy. We can use that as fission fuel to get a whole bunch of energy and card draw. Which is mighty strong. Imagine we want an upgraded Hollow for this first elite. Upgraded Electro looks really good too. 
or upgraded it in second vision. Doesn't cost energy or an upgrade, that's right. Really good turn one card, too. I don't like that we don't have any potions. Very much. I think we're upgrading either Chaos or Fission here. Or Electro. Really do want to be evoking the orbs I, ch uh, I channel. But I need to evoke more orbs, or channel more orbs. Ah! Choices, choices. Go with the Chaos upgrade. I think we're overdue on that one. But it's hard to know for sure what exactly would have been correct. Currently we have Chaos in my hand, so that's encouraging. And we got Fission Plus, perfect. Good. Very good. So I'm going to go Chaos Plus first. Dark Orbs will hit the one with the lowest health, which is the front one. Looks like we'll probably end up killing the one in front first as a result. can actually already kill them with Streamline, Hologram, Streamline. There's Electro, but will I use it? Right now I'm thinking Streamline Sweeping Beam, kill this guy. Oh, wait. <laughs> we drew the other hologram? Check this out. Play Streamline. Oh no, I can't hologram again. Except, I totally can. Thanks, Nunchaku. Easy. Take one or take none? Might take more next turn. If I don't take one. This fight's a lot. Oh, yeah, here we go. Fight is a lot easier when there's only one guy left. Turns out. Then vision. Beam draws into streamline. Can't quite KO. Nah. I figured we might have one more turn of damage. Ow. So a little bit of uh, hit point loss to this guy on the way out. Glad we had such an aggro turn one. Cycle. Interesting. Recycle can quickly turn this deck into silly shenanigans. Could even let us... Although it's yet another card wanting an upgrade. Could even let us do the filthy things with Overclock. More broadly useful, White Noise, just giving us a random power, is almost always good value, I tend to find. Especially if you're in a deck with a lot of powers already. Generates randomly creative AIs, echo forms, orb generation, card draw. You might think that Recycle and Overclock lets you draw cards and recycle the burns infinitely, but you have to draw three cards. The Recycle, the Burn, and the Overclock. And the Overclock draws three cards. So... You're spending three card draws and no energy to gain three card draws and no energy and destroy the burn. So you you can cycle that infinitely. You'd even need a second overclock for it to actually work, right? Because you can't redraw the overclock with itself. But it's a loop that doesn't on its own achieve anything. If I had more upgrades to give, I'd consider Recycle. 
does get really nice if I... If I upgrade the Recycle, the Overclock, and one Hologram. It starts to get really, really good. Ah, heck. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we'll do the Recycle upgrade first, followed by... A Hologram upgrade, followed by Overclock upgrade. We'll see what the shop has for us. More energy is definitely welcome at this moment. Happy Flower, giving us energy every third turn. Welcome. Love the combination of Happy Flower and Nunchaku. These two relics combined can often feel like a, a boss energy relic together. In particular, you have control over both of them, so you can set up both of them to take effect on whatever turn number you really want them to. Compile Driver looks awesome in a deck like this. Madness is intriguing. Madness could absolutely let us do some kind of weird infinite combo. Another thing that I really like, the Centennial Puzzle. First time we lose health each combat, draw three. More card draw we can get, the more ridiculous things we can do. Might even go Compulsive or Puzzle here, because we've gotten so many cards out of the deck already. Uh, I don't feel that compelled to remove a starter card here. It's only two defends and dual cast left, after all. <laughs> and yeah, we can just use the Recycles to get rid of the defends. The Recycle to get rid of the defends anyway. Compiled River and an upgraded Recursion could do some kind of weird, fun combo. I think I'm just going to take the driver and the puzzle. Masks are cool, and I would know, he said ominously. Our last upgrade this act is probably going to be the second hologram. Actually, no, the Overclock. Sorry, that was what I meant to upgrade there before Fission. Last upgrade this act will be the Overclock. Yes, here we go. Give me energy. Give me all the energy. All of it. Okay, we took the snake plant and we smacked it around violently with no remorse. And now we're being offered an upgraded deep rag in a deck that does quite a few warp things. It feels pretty good to me. Get in here. This will absolutely help make sure that these orbs are staying relevant for the mid to late game. <laughs> Electro fission turn one. Easy game. Bother compiling first. Nope. Because it's streamline time. Streamline. Hologram. Streamline. Hologram. Streamline again. Just bonk him to death, basically. Also, ouch. Okay, dual cast this. Use this. We're looking for self repair. There it is. Get energy twice on turn one, thrice on turn one next combat. Lantern gives me energy on turn one. I think I've overdone it. 
Bronze Automaton's gonna have no idea what hit him. I think Machine Learning is exactly the sort of card this deck wants. A card that lets us draw more cards each turn, but also itself gets removed from play when we put it in play. So we don't draw this card again, but it gives us additional draw each turn. It's gonna make it easier to kind of rotate through all of our cards, which this deck is looking to do very rapidly now. I ate your sandwich. Thanks for continuing that gifted sub, making it official. Let's upgrade that overclock so it's worth actually using. How is machine learning a rare card? It's better than you might expect. All the energy on turn one. Ten energy. Ten -en -en energy. Let's get the chaos back. Electro first, then chaos. Then compile driver. Then a hologram on compile driver. Get rid of a defend. Get this in play. Let's draw more cards. Get this in play. Dark Lord in play. Okay, there's our turn one. We shuffled the draw pile on turn one in this 22 card deck. That's pretty hype. And here we're gonna see that just having six cards in your hand at the start of each turn, it's such a such a boon. It means you're way more likely to draw combos together. You're way less likely to draw a hand with no block in it. It's got a lot of really good utility to it. Are we gonna destroy Doom and Gloom? I need to get rid of some burns here. Fair enough. I'm going to delete Doom and Gloom. Can do both. Good. Rid of this burn. I'm actually quite happy with them taking those cards, as it means I can play the streamline more now. Easy. to work with. That's rather appreciated. Don't want a chaos here? I don't think so. Let's just get Streamline back again. Get some bonus draw here. So now with basically all of the cards in my hand, I can do stuff like Streamline... Cycle the leap. Overclock. There's a burn. Hull River draws two. Sweeping Beam draws the Compile River. Streamline, Compile River. Let's 
streamline. Get the burn. Draw more burns. Streamline. Hologram. Streamline. And that's why Streamline's a good card. GG. Fun choices here. We're offered a Core Surge, giving us Artifact. Could be used later with a Bias Cognition or any other debuff we want to block. Hyper Beam could give us some area damage. I don't think we need it, though. Or Buffer to block one hit. We're actually a little bit short on ways to absorb damage, so I quite like a Buffer here. This deck isn't as worried about too many power syndrome as most defect decks are. In a fight against a hypothetical Awakened One boss, we can use the Recycle to delete powers that are not efficient to play. Although Buffer does want another upgrade. Still take it here. Choices are Astrolabe, Transform, and Upgrade 3 cards. We're almost out of basic cards to get rid of, but we could go Defend, Defend, Dual Cast and see what happens. Philosopher's Stone gives us more energy each turn, but enemies start combat with strength. Or Black Star gives us more relics off elites. We've already got the green key, so we could very reasonably harvest an additional three to five relics with the Black Star. Probably a cool headed in a recursion, or maybe just a recursion. Torn here between the, the Astrolabe and the Black Star. I definitely don't think we need more energy. Especially with all these energy generating relics. The Nunchaku, the Happy Flower, and the Lantern all. Generally speaking, I think Defect is the character that can most get away with not... I'm gonna go Black Star. Most can, can most get away with not taking energy relics from their bosses because the Defect has the most ways to generate energy from their cards. Do you know that we offer channel memberships now? Support the channel directly here on YouTube for as low as $5 a month and get awesome perks like a custom badge and emojis. But most importantly of all, I'll do exclusive Q&As, uploading a video response only available to members so you can hear your questions read in my buttery voice. Click the join button below this video to get started. Back to the video. Go to an early shop. Love to just take a bunch of early events. Would this deck take upgrade all? I think about it. I would consider it strongly. Okay, we'll think about it. Yeah. Again. Give me a damage orb. Dang it. My plans. Gotta upgrade that other hologram. We go streamline, hollow, streamline, I block for enough. Right. Yeah, if I do it this way, I do. Recursion that's already upgraded seems faded to me. Recursion says, evoke your next orb, channel the orb that was just evoked. We can use this to manipulate the order of the orbs we have to keep one in particular, as well as to gain energy by evoking plasma or just otherwise benefit from orb juggling. I think that could be very, very useful for us. 
get to fall. Losing Sweeping Beam, Defender Buffer. We get to lose another Defend. Absurd. Unlucky. Does Recursion retain the same Dark Orb charge? Yes, yes. If you Recursion a Dark Orb, it keeps the current damage value that it has. Pretty good stuff. Double Plasma, the Replasmining. So yeah, that's why I didn't take a boss energy relic, because I generated basically 12 energy that turn. And then didn't... Didn't even need it all. Truly absurd. Force Field Plus. Lock is cheaper for every power we've played. We have the four... Oh yeah, I'm taking this card. We have the four powers required to make this zero cost. One of the really good ways we can block in the late game, creating a zero cost, powerful block card. And this is by far the best one Defect has for this particular purpose. We're really lucky to see it here. Early on, yeah, it could be a recycle target too. But our goal is to use that as our way of blocking against the heart. Double Orb Walker is pretty dangerous opponent here. We will get a rare relic and a bunch of money if we can prevail. Pretty dangerous fight, as I've said. But I think this deck of all decks has what it takes to really show them what for, you know? Especially with double fission in the opening draw. But then, out of orbs, uh-oh. See, we're being attacked for 22. If I play Defend Force Field, I block 21. We'll take one damage on purpose. So that I draw eight cards. Could block fully, but I really don't want to. Okay. These burns add up quickly, so we really need to get one killed here if we can. Play Beam. Doom and Gloom. Okay, Doom and Gloom is a passable recycle target. Do I have any more card draw? Not unless I hologram something. I'd have to hologram Fission, realistically. But that means I'm not hologramming Streamline. Hmm. Also considering recycling Buffer at this moment. I want to use Chaos with the Compiler verse, so I think what we do is recycle Buffer. Doom and Gloom, Hologram Fission. Ah. It's not that good, but I think might still let me get the kill here. Good. Just barely. times three plus nine kill so chaos dual cast sweeping beam cool that went really well we score 55 gold and calipers letting us retain block from turn to turn could take an aggregate here as yet another energy generating card i don't think we want it though as it's dependent on deck size and we're not going to have that
skip. Psychotically well. I like that description of how that fight went. Not inaccurate. Here's where a recycling force field is viable, but I think we might be showing off our block generating engine this fight. So I'm not going to do that. Good. Perfect. Three different orb types, just what I like to see. Cycle, get rid of sweeping beam. Perfection. Good. Easy. Starting to see where this deck is going? Pretty powerful. Get a gremlin horn giving us an energy and a card draw whenever an enemy dies. And one buffer to start each combat. Could take a battery plus if I felt like I needed another block, but the force field is really doing all the work here. Wait, scrape? Scrape draws Recursion, Force Field, and Recycle. Yeah! This is a card I really don't get a whole lot of opportunity to use on defect. Incredibly powerful draw, but only if you have very precise control over what it's drawing. Here in this deck, Scrape can be guaranteed one cost draw four, in addition to being an attack card. Yeah, and Streamline, and Go for the Eyes, and all that good stuff. Simply beautiful. Grab the red key now, lest I forget. So proud of our little defects. All they're managing to achieve. It's only recursion. Hmm. Problem is getting started can be a little difficult. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. Absolutely brilliant. Thankfully, 
there was a buffer. Interesting. Actually, Capacitor would let the Compiled River draw more. Looks for the Defrag, too. Yeah, let's grab a Capacitor here. We don't need to upgrade it either. We just need to have more orb slots so that it's easier to have more different types of orbs. Not going to take the Shuriken as we need to go to Act 4, although I will note that it would be pretty sweet to be able to gain strength per three attacks played. All four of them attacking me on turn one. Very rude. Don't you know how rude that is? Let's go pile. Hmm. It's 14 block if I play Doom and Gloom. Doesn't seem worth it. This, 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 this. Easy every time. Double buffer. Beam cell plus is interesting, but if we're if we're actually cycling the streamline as many times as I think we are, the vulnerable won't matter at all. A little bit worse with the last few additions. I think a little bit more of a spool up time. But it's going to properly function in the final couple fights. Like a power potion over a block. Is the storm for orb gen worth it? No. We definitely, in particular, don't want to have... Um, only the same type of orb. We want to be able to maintain a fleet of different orb types. this. Draw some cards. We can also use Scrape with the Holograms. Next upgrade is Hologram, by the way. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. I might even go... Now we have Black Star. I was going to say I might even go um, double upgrade over Elite, but no. If we're getting two Relics, we shouldn't do that. Deck would also really, really, really like a Heat Sinks. Problemo. Look at that. All this. The boot. A potion belt to hold a smoke bomb. And these cards. I can't say that's a particularly whelming set of rewards, but whatevs. Prep for the last delay, it shouldn't be hard. Oh, 
But my next trick, I will win a fight without Streamline. Just to prove that I can. Plasma orbs yet. This one. Now we have no frost though. What is the world coming to? Discard compile in a hologram, huh? Sad. Perfect. Now I think we're good. Especially with Compiled River drawing at four. Burn, recycle. Yeah. There's a proper infinite we have now. Once we get to that deck state. Could add a second chaos or a second recursion. I think just fewer cards is what we really need, though. So I shall not. Can't even do the thing. It's fine. I want to play these two, actually. So I've already got the buffer in play. Thanks, Helix. problem when the enemy is adding some too. Apparently I'm blocking now. Should be taking the chaos again.
Lizard Tail, giving us a second chance at life and a boot thingy for 14 block. That I do like as well. Could take an upgraded white noise for one more random power. I don't know if that's actually good though. One more card to draw through seems unhelpful by and large. How are we going to do with Time Eater? Time Eater seems like a potential problem for us. We have to not rely on the overclock much, that's for sure. I might use the duplication potion against Time Eater. To duplicate our machine learning. Could try scaling with orbs. Yeah, use the calipers with frost to get a ton of block. Since we have calip um, capacitor, excuse me. Time to upgrade this though. Past time to upgrade the second hologram. Way past time. Let's just say I'm glad we've got buffer. Okay, part one of the fight. Simply play powers. I should have done defrag first there. Unfortunately, the slimes added by the time eater are going to be a real problem for us consistently. Is the way of things. I'm not going to recycle anything. That drawdown really, really hurting, as you can see. I think I am going to duplication potion machine learning. Two more draw every fight, or every turn of this fight will make such a big difference. Then I have to hologram go for the eyes or something. You can always buy a new potion. So don't rely on overclock. That's one of the takeaways here. Nor streamline. We want recursion to dark orbs or something. Okay, with a good turn. Destroy this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Fifty four. Okay. Still intrusion. Slimes are a real problem. As you can probably see. A hologram fission here. Hopefully this isn't a foolish choice. Foolish. That was pretty good. Have to build the orbs back up. Is that really that hard? Yes, yes it is. Got 
definitely struggling here. Give her the crap. Here's our turn. We have to get rid of the junk. Have to. Raw down and more slimes for us to deal with. Really wish you would stop doing that. Problematic. Shoot. What? This, play this. Five more cards. One, two, three, four. It's getting really spooky here now. Orb types are good. Get rid of that. It's a full block. Okay, thank you for not doing any more nonsense, sir. Okay, here we go. We can finally actually make real progress now. Perfect. Force field? That's where I do regret getting rid of Streamline earlier in this fight. Time. Jeez, man. Recycling the Doom and Gloom was also maybe not the best decision. Stop giving me frost orbs. Thank you. Get rid of this too. Let's get 
rid of overclock entirely. I don't want to use it anymore. Recursion. Hollow recursion. Definitely very grateful that I duped the machine learning. I think this would have been very difficult without it. For next turn, too. A long and arduous but successful time eater fight. We will not have this difficulty in other fights because we will not have our draw reduced and slimes constantly added. That said, Awaken One's gonna be a fun kind of challenge. Gaining strength every time we play a power card. Which I'm not going to refrain from doing. much. Don't recycle streamline. Cool. You get rid of capacitor though. And self repair. Need to play one more power to make the force field free, which I guess has to be buffered. Completely acceptable by me. buffer here. Don't need doom and gloom if I've got the streamline thing. Two buffers. I'm kind of having difficulty getting ignition here. Part of that is compelled for only drawing two. The 
only see deleting chaos if I got three orb types. Which seems like it will never happen. in the right place here. Oh, actually, without the overclock, it's not uh, properly infinite, so I do need the overclock, huh? Interesting. Because I have no way to get the scrape back into my hand. But we can just keep hologramming Compotiver more or less endlessly, and that might work just fine, actually. I don't need the scrape. Perfect, but definitely good enough. Oh, that's a weird turn. Of that card. I demand it. Don't bother. It'll take too long. Okay, I feel like I did learn a lot of things about how the deck operates in those fights. We do, in fact, need four orb types. We do, in fact, need the overclock. We want it to be properly smooth. Seeing six health, I think one upgrade is probably great here. We could get a sixth orb slot. We could get more weakness on Go for the Eyes. We could make dual cast free. Or we could make Scrape look at one more card. Scrape upgrade's pretty good. We're planning on using Scrape. We want it upgraded. Oh man, and I'm, oh, ho, 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 look at this medical kit. Medical kit means overclock no longer needs recycle to do the thing. That's huge. That's really, really huge. Unplayable status cards can now be played. Whenever you play a status card, exhaust it. Burns be gone, is what that says. Beautiful. 
Other things that I think are good here. Ancient Potion to block Vulnerable from Heart is a big deal. With capital B, capital D. And we could take an art of, uh, a relic alongside. Data Disc or Toy Ornithopter or Cord Removal. I really like the 20 health represented by the Toy Ornithopter in particular. The Toy Ornithopter. Okay, leaving us with 14 health. I think we're in very, very good shape for the late game. The medical kit made a big difference here. Now I'm not going to be afraid of overclock anymore. And that's peachy. So first up, the Spire Spear and Spire Shield. This is a fight we have to end relatively quickly. If we want things to go well. Draw me some cards. Okay, we discarded Buffer, Deep Rag. Got Fission Plus, go for the eyes. I'd like to get some more cards in my hand. To generate orbs. Play one Fission. Okay, holograms. Get streamlined back a couple of times, start streamlining damage, or we can scrape to try to draw a chill, recursion, or overclock. Drawing with scrape is a good idea here. Maybe only one time, but definitely a good idea. Okay, we got recursion. Still no sign of the other stuff, unfortunately. Use force field here. Do that again. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Not too bad. I keep exactly zero block. Wait a minute. Now, wait just a minute. So, lots of non-free things in the draw pile, meaning Scrape will only discard cards. Let's be to want a hologram overclock. Mostly cool with that. Good block potion in particular. Is that here? They wanted to have buffer for this turn. This turn could really hurt, actually. There's very little I can do about that. Yeah. Awkward. Damn it. Kind of at the mercy of what chaos generates, huh? Ouch. Too many burns. Spire Spear pretty quickly here. Good. Yeah, 
despite the lost health, I think we're in relatively good position here. We've got lots of healing. Twentieth Hopper will heal me fifteen. Lizard Tail will heal me heal me a bunch as well. We're in business. Hardest part of heart will be surviving the early turns. It's definitely easier said than done. Self-repair helps, too. Buffer. I'm thinking about our relics here. How badly do I want to set up? Such. Having one more energy on turn one seems like a good idea. Actually, I might not be able to make it less than one more. Hmm. Fine though. Art of War and Mummy Hand should give us plenty of energy. We even get another potion. Not enough card draw though. Not enough card draw. Defrag's a trap. Claw also a trap. It's all about getting cards out of this deck, not into it. Starting with buffer means we must. Well, maybe not must. We should protect our investment here. Might limit my cards this turn. Hmm. Probably creative AI with the mummy hand, but biased with the ancient potion is also a thing. I think I'll go creative here. Needing to get these powers in play. This now. Trying to figure out if there's any potential harm in using the Sneka oil. Making recycle expensive would be really bad, I suppose. Keeps force field and chill. Likely to discard anything else. I don't think I'll play this great. My tear get rid of Goku the eyes. He is about getting less cards into the deck. If I get the combo, it won't matter. Okay. Sort of it. Heat sinks is excellent. Fortunately, losing the buffer is not. But I have buffer plus next turn, so we'll be fine. Really happy to see plasma as well.
This is good. Slime to buffer. Storm is not to be played. I'm going to have to use this fission. Perfect. Get rid of this now. Play this to make it cheaper. Draw cards. Get rid of this. Almost ran out of buffer there. Draw four. Get rid of this. Draw four. Start at this. Program draw four. Set the recursion first. Mystery line. This gets gone. This gets gone. Draw. Oliver draw four. this. Streamline. Hologram, draw four. Separative sweeping beam. Recursion. Hologram, draw four. Get rid of this. Play this. Play this. Recursion for more energy. Start scraping. Mostly just want to delete everything that we're not going to play. Let's get rid of Storm here. The burns. Are we good to get rid of chaos? Just use recursion as the only thing. Yes, get rid of chaos. Hologram, draw four. Okay, we should have an unlimited combo now. Scrape to draw, streamline, force field, recursion. Let me go, force field overclock draws the burn.
I actually think this coin goes infinite. Deck barely scraping by. Casual 216 block retained. There's an echo form for us. I recycle you. Thanks. You know, without a recursion in this deck, this deck wouldn't have had a recursion in it. If we can't play any recursion, then we'll be unable to play recursion. Sorry, I'll try to streamline my humor a little bit more. It does get boring if you loop through the same few jokes over and over again, right? Compile driver. But my energy. Exaxes with the recursion, GG. Mr. Hart, what a cool defect run. Hey there, if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.